Let's be honest, giving charity isn't easy. Yes, we know the reward. We've heard the ahadith. But sometimes there's something that just stands in our way. So we need amazing videos, powerful material, and even inspirational stories. Here's an inspirational story for you. A sister once rang into a live television appeal and said that she would like to donate 1,339 pounds and 79 pence. Now, normally people would call and donate 50 pounds, 100 pounds, or even 1,000 pounds, a rounded figure. But with this sister, she gave such a precise number. Why? She said it was all she had in her account at the time, subhanAllah. And she was prepared to give it all for the sake of Allah in charity. This story, brothers and sisters in Islam, isn't an anomaly. You can find countless stories of generosity like this, both in our time all the way to the age of the Prophet This is the highlight of our ummah. And with this, I want to offer eight benefits for giving sadaqah. Number one, sadaqah helps cure illness and averts death. Number two, sadaqah eases hardships and removes calamities. Number three, sadaqah is an investment in this life and the hereafter. Number four, Sadaqah expiates our sins. Number five, Sadaqah is one of the gates of Jannah. Number six, Sadaqah will be our shade on the day of Qiyamah. Number seven, Sadaqah purifies the self and helps us achieve righteousness. And number eight, Sadaqah is a way to earn rewards after our death. Remember these eight benefits when you're not sure about giving Sadaqah. Remind yourself, that it is like transferring money from one account to another, from your account in this life, the dunya, to your account in the next life, the akhirah, where the deposits of that account are multiplied. And when you realize this and fully comprehend it, you will never look at charity the same way again. Find out more at mrdf.co.uk.